second most, most expensive Senate race in Massachusetts history, and one that could decide control of the Senate. Republican Senator Scott Brown and Elizabeth Warren, his Democratic challenger, clashed repeatedly in their second debate last night. Both made hits, runs, and errors during the debate, sponsored by UMass Lowell and the Boston Herald, and moderated by our own NBC, David Gregory. NBC's Capitol Hill correspondent Kelly O'Donnell is live in Lowell, Mass, and was there for all the action last night. This was really quite a, a tough debate, sharp contrast. Kelly, there were two moments that really stood out to me. And first was uh, that Elizabeth Warren, when asked by David Gregory, whom would she work with, she didn't realize that Dick Luker had lost his Senate primary race. Let's watch. Can you name some Republicans in the Senate today that you are able to work with on big issues, substantive issues that the country faces? Oh, I think probably Richard Lugar would be one that would come to mind. He's but let me. He's not going to be there. He's not going to be there. Let, let so me. who else could you name, Senator? <laughs> And then Scott Brown, I guess he couldn't figure out whether he wanted to go right or left when asked about the Supreme Court. Who's your model Supreme Court justice? Um, let me see here. That's a great question. I, I, I think uh, Justice Scalia is a, is a very good uh, judge. Justice Kennedy. Just. Justice Kennedy is obviously very good, and Justice Roberts, they're uh, Justice Sotomayor. They're what was your impression being there, Kelly, as to his well, Andrea, strange this, response there? It, it was really unexpected, and I think it was influenced, if you will, by the murmurs in the audience. Now, David had urged the audience not to get involved during the debate, and by and large, they didn't. But in these two instances, you could almost feel the embarrassment kind of sweep over the candidates. And they're under a lot of pressure, certainly. Now. Gregory wasn't asking if it was a current member, so you could imagine Brown might have gone back to some historical figure, but he struggled a bit. Now, Republicans today are saying that both Ted Kennedy and John Kerry voted to confirm Antonin Scalia, and it was a 98 to 0 vote. But Democrats are seizing on it today and talking about some of the positions that Scalia has taken that they feel are too conservative. Too conservative is not what Scott Brown wants to be associated with in trying to appeal to especially Democrats. In Massachusetts who might be willing to cross over and vote for him. He's under a real disadvantage with the registration here. So many more Democrats. And as you've been watching the polling, there are 18 percent of those who've been questioned who aren't sure which way they want to go. Now for Elizabeth Warren, I was struck by the fact that four years ago, similar question to then Senator Barack Obama, who does he feel he can work with? He mentioned Dick Lugar. So perhaps that's something that popped into her head, not of course realizing that he lost his primary and will not be in the Senate. She did not come up with another name, and that reaction was certainly an uncomfortable moment for her. The issue for her is, could she work across party lines? Because Brown has certainly tried to paint her as being in lockstep with Democrats. So those are sensitive areas for both candidates that really came out in those moments that were unexpected. And, you know, there was another uh, trend or, or tactic that he seemed to be using where he kept trying to put her in this ivory tower. Let's watch this. She's obviously misstating the facts. These were rejection by both Democrats and Republicans, Professor. It was a, a uh, if you're going to comment on my record, I would at least have you uh, refer to it. Uh, we, excuse me. If, excuse me. We're not, excuse me. I'm not a, a student in your classroom. Please let me respond, okay? Thank you. Okay, Kel, what was that all about? <laughs> Again, another one of those audience moments where we couldn't quite tell, were they booing, were they owing, were they surprised? Uh, consistently, Scott Brown refers to Elizabeth Warren as Professor Warren. David asked about that. He said, it is a title she's earned. I'm doing it out of respect. There is this undercurrent that perhaps it is trying to set her into an elitist mold while he keeps trying to position himself as a guy who could appeal to the everyman. He's uh, Scott Brown who drives a truck. That's a big part of his image and theme as he tries to portray himself to voters. So there was that subtle again and again, professor, professor, professor. Uh, she said it didn't bother her at all, but I guess it's open to voters to see how it makes them feel. Kelly O'Donnell on uh, what is perhaps the most interesting of all of these Senate races. But then again, there's... You know, Andrea, we'll get to that another day.
<laughs> exactly. You know, more people are concerned about Obama Romney. This was a heck of a debate, and uh, if you really love politics, it's one to look up online. It was really quite something to watch. Well, indeed, and it looks like you had a great time <laughs> as well, Kelly. Thank you we very did. much. And up next.